It's the most fun award show out there. Um, and I can say that from a little bit of experience with others because it's literally wall-to-wall -wall entertainment. It's like the greatest hits of what's on Broadway. And everyone sitting in that audience is part of that community. They do this eight times a week. They're there to have a great time, have fun. So I can't wait to see all the performances from the musicals. I was about to say one, but I don't want to be partisan too early. Um, Jennifer Hudson's performing tonight. We've got some surprise. I'm so tempted to tell you. Don't. I don't. don't I won't. I'm bad with secrets. But there's a lot. Sting is performing tonight. Um, Clint Eastwood's there. Clint Eastwood is there at the Tonys. I mean, trust me, it's a lot of surprises. Clint Eastwood was standing next to my husband. They look like father son. They look amazingly alike. Yeah. I said, did you know a redhead called Grace? That's my mum. <laughs> I feel that I've always been a part of this community. I've never been invited before. Until now, I'm, I'm in After Midnight, the most wonderful play on Broadway, and they said, Miss LaBelle, would you like to sing with Gladys Knight and Fantasia, the opening number? I said, of course. So that's how it happened. So I love mothering these kids and, and learning from them also. They have me dancing, so I'm learning how to dance. Yes. I'm looking for... Um, after midnight to win seven, seven Tonys. That's what I'm looking for. These people that are performing in the shows do it every single night, seven, eight times a week. And I was always like, I'm the host, I do it once, you know? And then I walk away. But now I'm doing it seven times a week. We had the dress rehearsal for this this morning. And we went and did a matinee at three. I quickly changed, still got the nails on, and I'm back again. None of us knew how Hedwig would be received. You know, it's a pretty extreme show. It's a lot of rock and roll music, punk rock music. It's often loud, um, but it's really heartfelt and touching at the same time. My dad um, brought me to these shows, Broadway, when I was a kid, and it really just, I fell in love with the art form, musical theater, Broadway. And so it was important that he be my date tonight to the Tonys because I wouldn't be here without his inspiration and, and, and introducing me to theater at a young age. So that's, that's why I, I uh, for many reasons, that's why I chose him. I am presenting Best Actor, and I am over the moon. It's a beautiful category. Uh, and I'm presenting with Bradley Cooper and Alessandro Nivola. So, yeah. Neil Patrick Harris and Hugh Jackman live in a world that we don't live in. They're just genius. This is just a great night. It's, it's, it's a celebration of, of good work, good storytelling. And that's what we all really are here for anyway, to be told a story. This character is fantastic. He's, um, he's fragile and domineering and gracious and funny and oh, he's you? all those things. And uh, it's great to play him. Um, to win an award for that, my God. It's my 20th Broadway play, and I love this play. I'm very proud of Mothers and Sons. I hope we win. <laughs> I'm selfish and self-promoting, but uh, I would like to see a new American play rewarded. To be a star on Broadway in a Rogers and Amberstein musical, I play the wicked stepmother tonight on Queen for a Day. Looking forward to this because I'm huge theater lovers and soon to be uh, with our own musical in 2015 here. Just such great people. Sting is going to be up there. Well, Carol King, of course, is my, my icon, probably the most influential singer-songwriter for me at, um, when I was growing up and listening to her and a good friend, an amazing woman. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Everybody deserves it, but oh my God, it's going to be exciting. Well, you know, that's what we've tried to do with our career. You're going to find out a lot of things you may not have known about us because it's oh we're taking you know it's autobiographical we're taking liberties with time because we don't want to make it linear and we got some new music that i wrote with my daughter actually a new song for the musical already so we're psyched eventually i'm going to be the, my dress is a little tight so eventually i'm going to be glad to get into my pjs and watch the tonys like rewind and watch the whole evening but i'm thrilled to be here tonight to be able to share it with my dad my dad is my date my fiance and and I'm just thrilled to be able to see my cast later and perform, and it's a great night. Oh, it's Neil. Neil Patrick Harris. I'm wearing Zach Posen. 
Of course, and David Yerm and Jules. I feel gorgeous, amazing. I feel like me. It's very, um, it's very classic, but a little edgy. It's like it's got a little bit of, you know, something else to it. Now, I am competitive, so I do want to win. But, <laughs> but honestly, really, this, this is what you win. The Broadway community is really a, very much about family. I was in Kinky Boots last year, and uh, and and now to be in this, it's like, uh, it's like I am the luckiest girl in this in the business right now. I saw Violet twice in one week. I'm a huge Sutton Foster fan, almost verging on like obsessive. And uh, I just loved that show. I thought it was so beautiful. But I'm also really excited because I get to introduce Adina singing. And so I'm really excited to pronounce her name correctly. Knock on wood, puh, puh, puh. But yeah, I'm really excited to say Adina Menzel into the camera. I'm obsessed with Hugh Jackman. I think that he, there's nobody like him working today. He's hilarious. He's got a great voice. He's charming. Men, women, children, animals, everybody falls in love with him just from looking at him, and so I can't wait to see what he has in store for us tonight. Well, you know, I, I'm, uh, my character is the genie in Aladdin. He's very blinged out, and I'm a very blingy person, and, you know, I wanted to bring a little bit of that to the Tony, so I decided to uh, spruce it up a little bit. Sting. Because I've always been too broke to go to his concerts, and tonight, they offered me a ticket, and I get to see him, so yes, I'm hallelujah for that one. A gentleman never forgets his first, and this is a first for me and, and, and a moment that I'll cherish. You know, I remember as a kid seeing performances on the Tony Awards, and now I get to be one of those people. It's like wild, and, and I know I have uh, so many people across the country who are rooting for us and, and excited to, to see our show perform tonight, so I'm excited to give them that. It's my favorite number in the show, and, and we get to do it on the Tony Awards, so couldn't be happier. You know what? I'm excited for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Being a part of the Glass Menagerie was such a thrill and such a joy to do, just to come to work and be with that cast, but then also to do that beautiful play. So the fact that we closed like two months ago and now are all going to be reunited tonight is such a thrill. This is my first love. When I was training, this was where I wanted to be, and God took me other places and eventually brought me back. But this is this is it. Hugh Jackman charming the American public one more time. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I was at the dress rehearsal, and he's going to do it. I am the official social media correspondent for the Tony Awards and for CBS. So on my Twitter feed. I'm taking crazy pictures and, uh, and videos of all the backstage madness, all the celebrities. I get access to them that no one else does without their makeup sometimes. What? Um, so follow Barrett Foa and cbs.com slash Barrett. I, I was on Broadway for years, so this would make me like the perfect guy because I'm on a CBS show. I'm on NCS Los Angeles. And then for years before that, I've been in three Broadway shows, off-Broadway. I'm currently in an off-Broadway show right now called Buyer and Seller. But it's fun because it's just a few blocks and it's a bunch of theaters doing really interesting work and increasingly interesting work. You know, gone are the days of the safe Broadway shows. Now it's you've got Gossip Valentina, you got Hedwig, you've got this, you've got that. It's like the prom, but a really big prom. I mean, if I were like Shawnee Davis or something, I could really like psych myself up to skate my best race ever, but I can't do anything except sit down and hope that my dress stays pressed. That's all I can do. This is just like the icing on the cake of the whole thing, and I think the three ladies that have been nominated on our show, we just really looking forward to tonight, because now we can like, relax. It's here, the Tony's just been so nerve-wracking, the whole thing. And now we can just, we feel like we've won already, just getting nominated, and we're just going to party. I'm not going to bed till it's light. Staying up till it gets light. And dancing. Uh, and I'll find somewhere to dance. <laughs> this is my second time actually hitting the stage with the whole cast. 
Show on the Broadway Show after midnight. If you haven't seen it, you gotta go see it. Okay, you loved it? I love it too. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna be hitting the stage tonight with two amazing women. Let us know.